At the recently concluded TEDx KL 2014, we caught up with Dr. Angelica Lim, a roboticist who's developing a motion engine for robots. And she spoke on how, in the near future, robots may soon understand how to feel empathy for humans and how to react appropriately in different situations. Uh, I'm Dr. Angelica Lim. I'm a roboticist, and I work to try and build the brains of the robots of the future. Uh, I'd say it had to be Rosie the Robot, which I saw in the Jetsons when I was a little girl. And so I imagined making robots that would be helpful around the house, but also kind and caring. So I wanted to build those kind of robots for the future. I think that people, um, they like robots, but they've also seen a lot of negative movies around uh, robots in the future. And I wanted to allay their fears about the future of, um, of evil robots. And I really think that one way to get robots to be more kind and compassionate is to give them a kind of empathy module. So I wanted to show my research about the development of an empathy module that kind of mirrors the development of empathy in infants um, so that the robot can not just know really the, the difference between right and wrong, but feel, have feelings uh, to understand the difference between right and wrong. Um, and how it's impact, the impact of its actions on others. Through a new field called developmental robotics, where robots aren't just being programmed with information, but they're learning from their, their environment, uh, like infants do, I do think there is promise in this field of robotics. So developmental robotics, it just started about 10 years ago, so who knows what will come, uh, go from here. Uh, my ideal robot, my ideal robot is actually a flying robot. <laughs> it's a flying robot because it can always be with you at your side wherever you go. Um, it can reach high places to get things that you need. Um, it could also clean everywhere in the house and kind of like the birds in Cinderella can kind of um, clean, clean the floors and fold your laundry and that sort of thing. So I actually really like flying robots uh, if, if I want to answer this question frankly. The biggest challenge right now is quite technical, and that's the fact that when you want to make something fly, it has to be lightweight. So we need lightweight sensors, lightweight batteries, or the alternative is you have a robot, like this one, that provides all of the sensors so that it's actually almost like tele telepathy, communicating with all the flying robots so that they know what to do. So it, there, there's multiple possibilities. Um, a robot team that's helping you out um, instead of just one. I'd like to say that just because something doesn't exist yet doesn't mean that you can build it. Right? So you can build the future. All you have to do is dream it.